The eldest son of Su Hai Jin, one of the accused in the $1.8 billion money laundering case, led police officers to his parents' bedroom during the island-wide blitz on August 15. A team of officers had entered Su Hai Jin's home in Ewart Park in Bukit Taima, where they met his eldest son at around 6.40 a.m. He led them to the door of his parents' bedroom and called for his father to come to the door, which was locked, said Mr. Thea Yangshin. A commercial affairs department officer, in his affidavit on September 8, he said Su Hai Jin did not respond and officers told him to step out of the room, despite warnings that the team would storm and if he failed to comply. Su Hai Jin still did not respond. The officer stormed the room and did not find him there. Suspecting Su Hai Jin had jumped off the second floor balcony, they searched around his home and found him hiding in a drain outside. Su Hai Jin faces one charge of resisting arrest and one charge under the Corruption, Drug Trafficking and Other Serious Crimes Confiscation of Benefits Act for possessing over $4 million in a UOB account. In his affidavit to support the prosecution's application that no bail be granted to the accused, Mr. Thea said the circumstances surrounding Su Hai Jin's arrest were telling. He said Su Hai Jin's son had asked his father to come to the door without giving any indication of danger. But the elder Su immediately became unresponsive and chose to make a quick exit. The 40-year-old fractured his feet and wrist after jumping from his balcony, said Mr. Thea. Yet, the accused still made considerable effort to descend a flight of steps to exit the premises from a side gate and hid in a drain. According to Mr. Thea's affidavit, the police seized or issued prohibition of disposal orders to the assets of Su Hai Jin and his wife. Wu Qin, worth $171,340,000. The assets include more than $120 million in properties and more than $2.6 million in vehicles. Su Hai Jin's family is believed to be moving out of the Ewart Park Good Class Bungalow. Large boxes and movers have been spotted at the house since September 4. When the Straits Times visited their home on September 11, a moving truck was seen taking boxes from the house to Gramercy Park, a condominium in the orchard area. Business records of Su Hai Jin show his registered address as a unit at the condo. In the affidavit, Su Hai Jin also admitted to having 10 properties abroad worth more than $14. 2 million. They included one condo in Cambodia, three condos in Cyprus, one property at Oxford Street, London, and five condos in Macau. He also has partial ownership of a yacht named Family which is valued at 4 million US dollars 5 Singapore dollars. 45 million. He is alleged to have made payments for the yacht with Sue Bowlin, a co-accused in the money laundering case, and two others in 2022. The court was told the yacht was registered in the name of a fifth individual. The three unidentified people linked to the vessel had left Singapore either before or soon after investigations started. Mr. Thea said Su Hai Jin had not been forthcoming about his dealings with Su Baolin in relation to the yacht and other properties, and had only come clean after being confronted by the police. ST previously reported in August about the luxury yacht which had been docked at 1 degree 15 marina in Sentosa Cove. The 38M long vessel was built in 2020 in Italy, and features four decks made of fiberglass and carbon fiber. It can carry up to 10 passengers and sails under the flag of the Cook Islands, a nation in the South Pacific. An online advertisement for a similar yacht in Turkey has an asking price of about 15 euros. 6 million 23 million Singapore dollars. Previous checks by ST found that family was initially not allowed to leave the marina on August 18, but was cleared to depart on August 19. The court was told on Wednesday the vessel had last been traced to Phuket in Thailand. But according to a vessel finder website, family left Phuket on August 24 and has been anchored at Langkawi, Malaysia, since August 25th. When ST contacted Craft Docket, an agent company that manages the vessel. On Wednesday, a representative said the vessel is registered to an individual whose name does not match any of the 10 accused in the money laundering case. She declined to reveal the name of the individual.